treatment, but coming back from what you've come from, how, how meaningful is it? I, I just I think that through the last four years, I have so much pent up frustration and sadness and so much emotion, you know, anger. I think that two minutes before the finish line, I just let it all out with a roar. I thought I won. <laughs> But I mean, it feels good just to be on the team. That was my accomplishment. And after crossing the finish line, I just had, I just cried. Like, I just let it all out. Just Does this all validate out. all the training you did while you were banned? Um, I did a lot of eating too, like fast food. I don't know if that validates <laughs> that too. But um, <laughs> um, I think the last, these last two years, last year and this year, um, has been probably the most difficult for me coming back uh, mentally and physically. And I think that coming here and just putting my trust in Brooks Johnson, he's like, look, man, don't worry about uh, speed training right now. We want to get you in shape to run rounds. And this is this was like February. So Nationals wasn't even on the radar yet. And I just put my faith in him, and I just stuck with his, his, his plan, and now I'm on the world team. Have you surprised yourself? Did you think you would pull this off? I mean, if you look back six months or a year ago? Um... It's not even, I just think that my confidence has always been better than my physical and in a, in a lot of areas, even back in 06, 05, 04. Um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a champion kind of person and, I, and I, I'm going to race the best. I'm not scared to race anybody who's, I think, that's faster than me because I know it's going to bring the best out of me. So coming out here has been, it's been joy. You know, racing against guys like Walter Dix, Mike Rogers. Um, wishing have, I wish I had the opportunity to race against Tyson. You know, I just think that it would from the uh, caliber of athlete that you guys have known and loved, hopefully, over the past years. How, how much? Uh, it's going to take a much lower time than the 995, 994 here to be for uh, Zane. So do you think uh, you can close this gap by from here to the mouse? I think good. that, you know, I'm not ruling anybody out, but I'm not counting everybody in. And today, I guess, was a good example that, you know, um, you know, I was really anticipating racing against uh, Tyson at his best, and um, I wish him well. Hope he gets, hope he gets well. And having a false start in our race against one of the guys who had the top fastest times coming into the finals, and not being able to finish his race with a false start, you know, it, you never know what's going to happen. So I, I just have to prepare myself within these nine weeks to go out there and train like I'm going to run and win a gold medal. I don't think anybody trains for silver or bronze. If they do, then they don't need to be in the sport. Just real questions. Uh, will you run the 200, and what do you think it means to the team to lose somebody like Tyson? Uh, it means a lot, you know, because sitting back last year and just hoping and having, you know, wishing I was on a team then and just thinking about the dreams of being on a team now, which I am, you know, I look at Tyson, Mike Rogers, Walter Dix as teammates, and we're going to take on the world together. Even though when we get to the finish line, it's about who gets there first. Will you run the 200? Am I going to run the 200? Uh... I don't know. I'll see after. T I'll see tonight. Can make it that much? I know it. Just <laughs> can you can you talk you about this? this was possible. <laughs> I mean, what point this season did you believe this was possible if you could come back here and get second place? You know what? Um, talking to this guy right here, he's giving me a lot of inspiration, Mike. Um, even though we are obviously we lock horns almost in every race that we run. Um, we said this many many months ago, and I almost had the opportunity to go train with him. Uh, in Texas and I was like you know what regardless of what we do we're gonna make this team together and I think that looking at his eyes today before the finals and he's like look man we made a promise to each other we're gonna go out and make this team and I think that's what we accomplished so actually before the finals I was like this can happen I can make this team it's gonna be all on me in lane five Justin can you talk about how how well supported you feel through this journey um <laughs> a lot of support you know I think from the fans and um, I think just from people with well wishes, uh, even on the internet, um, I've come across not a lot of hatred or criticism um, within my time off. And I think that one reason why I was able to gather so much power to come back was so many well wishers and so many people saying, hey, you know what? I got my life on you to come back. And that means a lot to me. And people who have never even met me before, even shaking my hand, saying, you know, we can't wait to see you run again. And that gives me a lot of inspiration. How much faster do you think you can get? How much time can you drop? You talked about training for the rounds. Can you I think off? I think that every race I've ran, it's giving me more confidence. So I think that definitely a 9-8 closing out the season will be good. And I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, cap off what my my, uh, my abilities are. Whatever is going to make me cross that finish line first at the World Championships, that's what I'm going for. Justin, what, Justin, what was going through your head in the race when you were basically clear of the field and in the lead? 
I didn't know when exactly when I was clear to field because I got cussed out by Brooks Johnson in the back over in the warm-up area. He's like, look, I can't say really exactly what he said, but he's like, look, blank, 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 you got to stay down and drive because if you stay down and drive, you're going to come up and you're going to be in the, in the lead. You got that blank? All right, I got it, coach. And that's what I did, and I came up and I was in the lead. So I think I just, I think I celebrated and was, I realized I was in the front. I realized I had the, the ability to win, maybe two minutes before the line, and Walter Dix leaned me out. What do you think the reaction is going to be real bright to being able to get this far so soon? I don't know. You know, I learned one thing last year. I got caught up in a lot of media. No offense, guys. Um, and a lot of everyone talking, what's going to happen to me and what I'm going to do, what do I think. I just, you know, I don't like to down myself or belittle myself, but I'm just a runner. And my focus is just to go out there and run. And whatever comes, you know, whatever challenges come at me, then I'm going to take them full on and I'm going to be prepared. You, in March, you told me you are going to get the third. In the third, and now you're second. How you feel? And then what's going to go into? <laughs> well, I guess I I, uh, I overcame my um, my own goals, so I feel good coming out here and just be able to make it the team. You know, get, getting to Korea. I've been to Korea once before in '05, and I love the country, and I can't wait to go back. Congrats, Justin. To compete against the American team. I'm excited. You know. Um, I'm excited. These guys are running fast, they're running strong, and it's just nothing going to bring the best out of the USA competition. Justin, you had tears of joy there at the end. Did you envision that? Oh, you that? saw me crying? <laughs> yeah, I did. Did you envision that moment, and, and what, it, what did it look like before it happened in, in your mind before you crossed that finish line? I just had a flashback of Olympic trials in 04, and me crossing the finish line and making the team. So I guess the, it was the importance of me making this team was the equivalent of me making my first Olympic team. You know, I just went through so much adversity, and just coming back to be able to take a lot off my shoulders and to make this team you know I just I'm happy I'm elated I have a son now and I'm be able to give every everything I have to him my heart my joy my flag my shoes everything to him so I definitely want to be able to say you know what at the end of my career I say you know what be proud to be a captain how old is, how what old is, old is he he's one and, and he's already name? Jace J-A-C-E and he's already running around and sidestepping people, and he's very already athletic. <laughs> what do you say to the people, Dom? I think that me being off for four years, I, it's given me a lot more um, shelf life. <laughs> I guess that's the word I'm looking for, shelf life. And um, I feel like the only thing I got to work out is maybe just muscle memory, getting the kinks out, and just coming back and being confident again. What do you say to the people who don't believe your doping story? Um, that was four years ago. The story hasn't changed. Nothing else has came out. And I just wanted to come back and just run. The focus is the people who made the championships today and their career is going on and so is mine. And I'm just glad to be back. And I'm glad everybody has wished me a lot, a lot of luck.